What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. And if you are new here, we are Juan, Marcel and Rylan. And today we're coming to you from Dubrovnik, Croatia. It is so beautiful oh to God. start. Our Airbnb is pretty small, but we did not buy it for the size. The best part about this Airbnb that we got is we are just about 15 steps yeah. away from the main road in Old Town Dubrovnik. It's called Stratton. We have a lot of exploring to do today. So we're gonna eat right now. Drink some coffee. And then mm -hmm. we're gonna head to Pile Gate so we can get up to the Old Town walls and walk all around this city. Long way up, baby. <laughs> This is just breathtaking. It's so beautiful. I can't believe this place. For those of you who don't know, if that looks a little familiar, this is actually where they filmed all of the King's Landing scenes from Game of Thrones. They were filmed in Dubrovnik. After the start of day one, which is right now for us, I can tell you, best place I've ever yeah, been. Yeah, it's the most beautiful place I've ever been. It has to be the most beautiful place in Europe. And look at this. Um, here I'm making with crochet hook, silver wire, and I put that traditional ball Dubrovnik oh. here. And this is fixed on the ear. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's see that bracelet, baby. Matching we get like matching rings and bracelets in each destination now, <laughs> yes. is that our trademark? That is our trademark. We are changing into our bathing suits, well, already changed. Taking off straight to our sunset kayak tour, which we are very, very late for. Let's go. Beautiful! There is a life I lead in this city. Oh my god, babe, look right there. There's a freaking shark. No. Babe. Stop. Stop. This island right here behind me is called Lockrum. And we're gonna pedal into a cave in here and do some snorkeling and different things like that. Baby, keep the pace. Row! 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 Oh my goodness, babe. Beautiful. The water is so blue. Yeah. You guys can cliff jump from up there if you want. Yeah, um... It looks not that big from down there. It probably doesn't look big on camera either. No, it looks terrifying. Really? I mean, at least I think it does. Maybe on the computer it won't, but what? Are you scared? I am. <laughs> I'm scared too. I don't want to. <laughs> Should we climb back well, down? We already committed. Alright, one. Two, three. Mm. What? After kayaking and exploring all day, we were so dead that as soon as we got home to change, so we completely passed out. She fell asleep all the way until now. It's 9 a.m. It's been yeah. a full 12 hours. Now we're kind of in a rush. Um, we want to catch, oh, just got Ooh. so freaking overexposed, but we want to catch the ferry to go to that island, Lockrum. <laughs> So we 
just walked across the island to this other side. Yeah, we're just kind of walking around aimlessly because there's so much you can do here. Mm -hmm. There's a botanical garden, a portion that apparently connects to the Dead Sea, and there's this little hole where you can see and maybe swim in the Dead Sea, which yeah. is really crazy. crazy. I don't get that. And so good for your skin, so that's exciting. And, and then there's a fort that was built by Napoleon back in, like, I don't even know, 1600s? 14, <laughs> I thought 1400s, but Yeah, I don't know. something like that. And then, yeah, there's, like, lots of beaches all around. Obviously, we're on an island surrounded by water. Yeah, speaking of that, we just found a swim swimming hole and we are going to it's swim in it because we're sweating. really freaking hot. <laughs> You're so far away. Huh? You're gonna do a jump like me? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so this right here is salt buildup because the water we're jumping in is yes. that salty. So salty, I feel it on my face. She's burning her legs because she shaved this morning. Yep. <laughs> That's how salty this is. The Adriatic Sea. Knowing how clumsy I am, I don't think this is the safest situation for my things. You can do it. Mm. Good job. Mm. I've always wanted to see the Dead Sea. And apparently here, somehow, in the middle of Croatia, they're connected to the Dead Sea. So, I'm actually about to be able to swim mm. in the freaking Dead Sea. Are you ready? Yeah. We are here and we need to get here. This is quite the journey, guys. Not going to lie. We've been seeing arrows that look just like this for the last 15 years. Oh my God. The ground is solid. Yeah. Oh. I think we're almost there, baby. It's the home stretch, baby. Woo. Ah. Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh yeah, we made it. Wow. Alright guys, so... It's my baby's birthday! Yes, it's my birthday! <laughs> That's really one of the main reasons we're out here. Yeah. I've always dreamt of going to Croatia and I decided my birthday was the perfect time to do so. My baby made us reservations at this very fancy restaurant at the top of the mountain called Panorama. And you basically get an amazing view of the entire city. We've got two seats up front, three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this freaking Look at this tree. Thing. I need to take a picture of it. So we basically had our waiter order for us. He just told us everything that he would recommend and first thing he recommended already 10 out of 10. We got the linguine with mussels and shrimp and it is otherworldly. <laughs> it's 6 a.m. We woke up nice and early because we're taking a day trip to Montenegro. You want to see our ride? Should we show them our <laughs> sick ride? Bam, baby. We're crossing the border in this thing. So we just drove about 45 minutes, crossed the border into Montenegro, and our first stop here is on this boat. <laughs> so our tour guide who brought us here, on the drive over he was explaining that this church that we're visiting, out in the middle of the water, see right here, Apparently the story is whoever built it commissioned people to throw rocks into the middle of the water like you can see here so we could build a landmass to build this church on top of and it took 250 years.
Next stop here is Kotor, our guide recommended this long journey to the top of this mountain 1000 steps 1330 steps he yeah. said i hope these birkenstocks don't wear out on the way yeah. up there We made it. Don't let the street lights lead you all alone. You know it's dangerous to go alone. All right, that was one of the most challenging things I've ever done in my life. We made it. We're here at the last stop of our trip to Montenegro. What's the city called again? It's called Budva. Yes. We're eating at this place right on the sea. Beautiful view. It's got the best seafood in town, apparently, according to our guide. We were starving after that. Right. Oh. Hello. Hello. Oh boy, oh boy, did we over order. <laughs> it's 4 30 now, so we get in the from the You may think that we're on a bus right now, but it is actually a high speed ferry that's going to take us from Dubrovnik to Split. But before we get into that, we want to talk to you a little bit about our new Patreon that we've started. We did an in depth Airbnb tour. We showed you guys what we wore in a week. Yeah, the entire four days we went over each of our outfits, where it's from. We're going to link all of that. We're going to share our itinerary with you. We filmed some of our favorite foods here, like three of our favorite places. Yeah. We're going to combine that with the best foods that we find in Split. We're going to put all of this exclusive content out for you guys there on the Patreon. And there will be plenty more perks if you go and check that out. We'll link that below in the description. And thank you so much. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you have not already, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to turn those post notifications on so you don't miss out on any of our new videos, including next week's in Split Croatia. We love you so much and see you next week.